you have a sound source here emitting waves uh, then let us say the sound source is moving away so if you are standing here and the sound source moves away from you this is what would happen if you are your friend is standing on this side and the sound source is moving towards your friend this is what would happen all right uh, they are here they should be much closer so what i'm actually trying to demonstrate here is that the wavelength becomes shorter here the wavelength becomes longer and we're saying this is away and this is towards so in terms of our wave equation of v is equal to uh, f times lambda that is f would be v over lambda then as your lambda goes down the frequency goes up so in other words we're saying here the frequency will be higher so on this side um, f is v over lambda as lambda goes up the frequency goes down so it means here on this side you'd have your low frequency or pitch on this side you'd have a higher pitch okay then now that we have reminded ourselves about this let us go and think now of your spectrum uh, electromagnetic spectrum from grade 10 but now with your electromagnetic spectrum i would just like us to limit to uh, the visible spectra so within your visible spectra as you'd remember your grade one when you were reciting the colors of the rainbow you have roy a g beef i think there should be seven one two three four five six seven all right then you would understand that from red you'd have the longest wavelength then on the side ligam violet you'd have the lowest wavelength so meaning on this right side the frequency is very low on that side the frequency is very high on the side the violet so in other words as you go from red uh, to violet wavelength decreases and frequency increases so as you move from red towards violet wavelength decreases and frequency increases so when you move from violet to red a wavelength increases frequency decreases all right now that again we've reminded ourselves about this let us go and look now how can we explain now this concept of expanding universe using this understanding now so here you'd be given spectral lines for instance uh, let's say what they usually do get up they would give you these spectral lines and they would tell you this is what happens when you are on earth let's say down they take the oxygen or let me say hydrogen they usually talk about hydrogen gas then if you excite 
the atoms of hydrogen gas, they will jump. And when they fall, in fact, when they jump, they absorb light. Then when they fall, they emit light. So when they jump, they absorb energy. When they fall, they give out the amount of energy they've absorbed. <sighs> All right. Over here, uh, I have now introduced uh, the line spectra for different cases. Now here, what we have is what is known as continuous spectra. Okay. Now, continuous spectra involves all these colors we're talking about here. For instance, if you check this one, there is red. Next to red, you'd have orange, yellow, green, blue, all the way to your violet. So this is your continuous spectra. So what happens here when they explain that the universe is expanding, they would use these lines. In fact, this uh, continuous spectra. But now it will be in terms of absorption and emission. So what I was saying is that if you are in the lab, you know that the light which is coming from the sun is having all these colors, this continuous spectra. The white light or the clear light that you see is mainly these lines. I mean, it's mainly this continuous spectra. Then if you take now a hydrogen gas, for example, then you heat it, you give it energy. Its atoms are going to jump up and down. Now, when they jump, when they jump, they absorb, absorb energy. So absorb, it means they take out energy from the continuous, the continuous spectra. You will see dark lines. Then when they fall, because once they jump, maybe they will jump from the first energy level up to maybe they can jump get to whatever energy level depending on the amount of energy they've been given so when they fall now when they jump they are going to absorb energy and then when they fall from that height they've jumped to they're going to emit the same amount of energy hence you see here that when they fall now they give out energy they give out energy but this energy will be given out as light hence even here they absorb light when they fall they are going to emit the same amount of energy so it is light so this is a machine giving out absorb taking in all right then now if now you take the same hydrogen gas you excite its atoms on earth you get maybe this pattern in the laboratory. Then, if the same thing now, or maybe you use whatever telescope that you can use, and you observe that maybe the hydrogen gas, I don't know how they do it, but they will tell you the gas in the galaxies now can be examined the same way. But then you'd notice that now your lines will not be on very same position as they are on earth for instance you may find that this line is shifting towards this end maybe it is here this one is also shifting maybe it is somewhere there somewhere there so all these lines are shifting towards now you'd have to notice now in which direction are they shifting maybe they would write it for you you can say this is red and this is blue we usually talk of blue shift and red shift so if it is shifting towards red, you'd say this is red shift. All right. Then what is this red shift in essence? Now, you would understand that we're talking about frequency and wavelength. When the line is shifting towards red, when the line shifts towards red end, it means its wavelength is increasing and its frequency is decreasing. You know that when you say 
frequency decrease, it means that is away. So it means if it is shifting towards red, it is shifting away from you as the observer. You know that according to Doppler effect, when an object is moving away from you, the frequency decreases. So if the frequency decreases because it is shifting towards red, according to this right beef, we said red is having the longest wavelength. We said when it is going towards red from blue, the wavelength increases frequency decrease. I'm saying here, if it is shifting towards red, we say it is shifting away. So this is what happens now when they examine the stars in the galaxies. So you'd find that it would show that the star is actually moving towards this, having a red shift, shifting towards red, meaning the wavelength increases and the frequency decreases.